Okay, looks like we're live. <clears throat> Should be uh, Gucci. I'm just going to play some music because music is very chillax, very relaxing, enjoyable, pleasant, in fact. And I think that's about good. <clears throat> so I can finally get back to streaming. It's been, um, I want to say like a little bit less than a month since I have last streamed. So I'm just gonna get back on the grind a little bit. We've got a cavern fortress, which is Slugsy Zetsu. The problem we currently have is basically a complete and total lack of any kind of like military. We're slowly getting our uh, our tavern started as well, which is what um, this over here on the right is. I also recently hit affiliate, which is kind of nice. Oh shoot, what should I do with this um this stockpile over here? Hmm. What's with this dead thing? Ulm remains. Is this uh stockpile set up to take corpses? No, just finished goods. Well, why is there a dead Ulm there? Starting No Shave November a little early, indeed I am. Welcome to the stream, Fabian. How are things? How are things? I feel like it's been a minute since we've chatted. I probably should put my, um... <coughs> my Tanner's Bench closer to my... My butcher store? What's up in here, actually? Uh, just some bones and stuff. Mentally ill, but nothing much. <laughs> um, I'm alright, you know. I got an email this morning which said I was a Twitch affiliate now. I'm like, I didn't even realize that I qualified. But now I am an affiliate, which I think is kind of cool. Which means I can, uh, make you guys watch advertisements for, like, uh, Spanish movies, and I make money off of it. <laughs> Check out um, what we have assigned to some of our buildings. Construct blocks. Oh, we can unsuspend that. Make bone bolts. That's fine. For drinks. And we're smelting some coke so we can get bitmeous coal. I mean, bitmeous coal so we can get coke. And we're smelting some magnetite. So, which is good, I think. I know I saw some more Bitmeas coal about um, here-ish. Oh, what's this? Tetrahedrite. Um, that would be okay for like warhammers and things, but we don't really need warhammers right now. We mostly um, have lots of axe users. So we should probably go for axes first. More tetrahedrite, I think. Yep. Random gemstone. That's... wait. Ooh. I must have gone down a little bit far. And we are still at war with every other civilization currently, which is a little bit sussy. So basically, that's kind of a major concern. What are we, 
There's like just dead animals everywhere. Random thief, I don't really care about a thief right now. I've got just straight up nothing valuable. Let's auto mine some ores and gems. Let's get some gold. Uh, I think I might actually set this to priority five. It's kind of low, so we'll do it like later when they actually have time. I don't think they could actually pass through those ones. So I'm mostly looking for coal, because I swear that I saw some coal. A tetrahedra? There it is. So we're going to set this to actually a fairly high priority, priority 2. Oh, what? Platinum, magnetite? Wait. Okay, so Magnetite looks a lot like Tetrahedra, so I'll have to remember to actually check all of that stuff. Yeah, see, that looks like Magnetite, which we really, really, really want. I wonder what he's carrying. You know what? Let's follow around this little thief. gone. <laughs> we need to get these, um... To get this lever set up, what are we waiting on? Mechanics. I know we have a mechanic. Uh, we have two mechanics. One is a woodcutter. One is a mason, so of course we're not getting any mechanics work done at all. Uh, I don't need mechanics very often, so I think I'll set my um, my designated hauler to be a mechanic now. And there's just blood everywhere. I mean, oh, I see. Okay. So chalk looks different than slate. Well, clearly. I need to keep a close eye. Oh, <laughs> what was the ad for? You don't remember. Oddly, uh, most ads these days are not very memorable. Memorable. Like, you remember, like, they're like, um, like they always have like some kind of joke or weird plot line or something. But like, you don't actually remember what the ad is for. You just kind of remember the ad existing. Oh, random dead dog. I think it probably got killed by, um, a crocodile. We've been having a, a bit of a crocodile problem here lately, but thankfully we have enough war dogs that it's not too big of an issue. Uh, let's check on our animals. Lots of puppies, lots of kittens. Um, let's see if we have any nest boxes. If I, if I can remember how to work the game. Nest search. Nest. I'm fairly certain we don't. And having some nest boxes would be awesome. Wait, we do, we do have some. Very, very good. Okay. Now where did, where should I put them? Uh, 
Honestly, I could probably get away with just having them, like, right here underground. Is that magnetite? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Let's go over here. No. This is gonna be my lever room, so it's gonna be full of levers in the near future. Oh, you know what? I can, um... Get myself an upstair. I can remember how it does not it? Okay. Upstair. Downstair. That'll be the door. And then this will be the nest box room. I could have a hatch cover instead. But no, I like doors, honestly. Mm. Aqua. Honestly, I was more excited to get um, channel points than anything. Like, I named my channel points Missed Shots because I think that's funny, because I miss a lot of my shots as Dustlinger. My farmer, bizarrely, will not farm, or he won't build the extra plots, even though I would really like him to. Some of these dead things over here. Uh, Ulm? Actually, what even is an Ulm? This is an Ulm Remains. Thank you. Thank you very much. That cleared things up, I think. Got a nice uh, pile of dead bodies. As is our want. Awesome. Some of our dogs are growing up, which is good. Wait. Great, great, great. So now, whenever we get some invaders, Oh, catch you later, man. Now that we have a lever set up, we can uh, close our door whenever we get invaders, which will be really, really helpful. Really, really, really helpful. Wait, we can't reach the building? For now, we're just going to keep all of our dogs as war dogs. I'll worry about um, hunting dogs later, mostly because um, most of the thieves are coming from like very strange areas, so it's hard to. No food available. That's uh, that's a yikers, dude. That's a big old yikers. Why can't we reach that site? We have this upstairs. Uh, let's just prepare easy meal on repeat. Hopefully then we'll be able to get some food ready. Really want it to be this. 
So we're just going to set this priority very, very high. So we do it um, sooner rather than later. And then once we have a food stock file, it'll be less of an issue to sort of mass produce food because it won't be going bad quite as often. Am I dumb? Yes, I am. I am dumb. Okay. I'm not too worried about um, a little bit of extra tetrahedrite right there. I'm more worried about just getting this huge stockpile gang. Uh, what are our stocks on tables and chairs? If I can find them in an efficient manner. Thrones. Uh, we're okay on tables and thrones. So we should be doing fine. We are out of food. That is just actually such a yikes. So let's go ahead and slaughter some of our random animals. Sorry. <laughs> Just gonna get rid of a couple of uh, kittens. <laughs> bye bye kittens. Yeah, this fortress is not doing too hot at all. Set this to a uh, pen slash pasture, and go ahead and assign all of our uh, turkeys to that. Try that again, but this time I'll use my brain to make it properly sized. Okay, right here.
And is that correct? Yes, it is. Now we can place some nest boxes. And we can have glorious, glorious eggs. Let's make this a low priority smooth. Just to make things kind of pretty. A masterpiece wheelbarrow, let's go. We're suffering from horrible, horrible miasma from a stray yak cow skull. Some migrants. That is actually not really good. Because we we just seriously don't have enough food to deal with um, that many migrants. Especially this many migrants. Wow, that's a lot of you guys. Just a small cemetery. We have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and that'll be fine. First, we have to actually engrave this lab, I think. And I'm just going to let it run for a little bit while I go and get some water.
Ah. Can't trip by a gray langer. What's a gray langer? available. A hall of seas. Got a farmer's guild. That's a little crazy. Um, let's actually check out what we got. Holy shit, that's too many dwarves. That's far too many dwarves for us to handle right now. Um, three worthless peasants. Let's see, what do the peasants do in military? Uh, looks like nothing. Wait. You've got one, like, a lot of really good spirit words. These might be all the guys from my other fortress, actually. Really good armorer and two decent armor smith. Well, one amazing armor smith. Uh, you don't have to do furnace operating anymore. Set all these guys to furnace operating and wood burning. Oppressor, whatever. Let's kind of think. I can actually take this guy off of mechanics. Uh, and I can make one of these guys a dedicated mechanic. I think this random one will be a designated mechanic. And what are you good at? What do you like? I just so happen to click on the best one for that, which is fine. One miner, uh, I think he can stick to mining slash stone crafting, that's fine. One designated engraver, which is perfectly fine. Trapping, cheese making, throw on milking, I guess, I don't know. That's such an unhelpful dwarf to have, I think. Two animal dissectors. Yeah, for this ranger, I think I'll take all that off. And for this guy, I'll just set all of this stuff. I don't need a second animal dissector. Um. Setting him to a stone detailer would be fine, because we pretty much always need stone detailing. Fantastic armor smith. A decent weapon smith. Oh, and he's a gem cutter. I might as well make him a, a gem setter as well. Why not? Why do we have two cheese makers? We don't need any of that, really. We've got four fish dissectors. That's just insanity to me. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna turn off all of their, like, random misc skills that I don't really plan on using at all. Now, Master Butcher? I mean, that's not very helpful. Well, I'm just all put on all the other working stuff for him. These peasants are good. They're fine. They've got wood burning and furnace operating. A miller slash presser, like that's just hot ash maker. Line maker. That's all stuff that I don't really ever do. 
I'll make you a bone crafter. I'll make you a stone crafter. And you can be a wood crafter. Designated plant gatherer, that's fine. I'll turn off plant gathering for this armor. So you don't need to be doing that. Turn off animal training on that guy. You don't need to be doing that. Uh, Why is this guy listed as a farmer when he's got brewing and lime making? Weird. Fuck it, just set them all to farming. That's... that's all fine, I think. I think we are missing, like, a designated gem cutter, though? Yeah, this worthless trapper can be a designated gem cutter. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get these minings. These little minings done. And then smooth all this out. Any cool looking rocks? Got Mika. And Slate. Oh. Let's do Mika. And also Mika. Let's set this. Now let's do this out of tier. I want this done kind of soon. Then what else is relatively important for right now? So we're getting started on making those tables and chairs. Let's see if that works, because I don't actually know too much about uh, dogpiling and things like that. Unless I just make a designated stone stockpile right here. And 
then I cheat a little bit. Because cheating is fun. I know there's a designation to claim things, to unforbid things. Because right now all of these should be forbidden, yes. Because I'm a little bit dumb, let's just do that, and that should solve that problem. Apparently you didn't dump all of it, it might be because they have like pending tasks or something? Very confusing. I think I'm just going to wash my dwarves smooth the stone for a little bit. Oh, we've got a fey mood, which is great. Set these bedrooms to a three. Yeah, Asmel, the trapper, has that. Oh shoot, I forgot, I was going to send a funny joke to my friends, but I opened it up on this. Right, unit list, as now, my Trevor. which is kind of annoying. He's got a strange mood, but he doesn't seem to, um... He's not claiming anything. What is he good at? Fine, I'll check this. Asmael. It's one of my new ones, right? Yes. Cheese making and trapping. 
What would he possibly have a mood for? I'll go ahead and cheat a little bit. I guess. Oh well. You should be going in to claim a craft workshop, right? And all of these are unoccupied, so he should be able to get it. Curious about what our um, what our little guy even wants. Our strange mooter. Bot Lake has become an extra. We don't have any military. Is he a visitor? No. Okay. How strange. Oh, there's holes in my little things. Be very important to patch those up so we don't get miasma everywhere. Let's do olivine because that would look kind of cool. Kind of nice that we do have our nest foxes going. It's a little janky and hideous, but we're at least getting eggs and stuff now. And all of these dogs are flashing because they've been injured horribly from the cave crocodile attacks that we've been suffering from. They still haven't built those farms, I'm not quite sure why. Because they're not suspended or anything. We just haven't messed with them at all. What's this crap? Pigtail right mitten. Let's see how much we have in terms of iron. 44. That's pretty decent. Decent enough to make uh, 10 iron battle axes, I think. Probably. FPS is still very, very low. Probably just because uh, we went to the cavern so quickly, I think. Are both of these guys miners that have stone detail? Mining one stone detailing. Uh, let's go ahead and take stone detailing off of all of our miners. I don't know why that's a thing.
One thing that I noticed that sometimes ticks is Link of Building to Trigger suspended, but why? Why is that suspended? Because they've got a path to um, the top, because they go up there and they pick plants and stuff. Or do we not? Do we actually not have a path? Because those dwarves aren't coming down. But we built the bridge relatively recently. So it's like... Wow. Hematite. More iron. That's good. I think my, my iron addiction is kicking in. Ah, yes. We found the culprits. Let's make it out of Cobaltite, because Cobaltite looks cool as fuck. And I think that ought to fix some of our issues that we're having currently. What the fuck is that? Giant earthworm. Looks like that random monster slayer got on it there. Cancels manage work orders needs office? Dumb ho? Like what? Not sure why he's acting like that. Man's got a perfectly good office and he's just like, nah, miss me. I think we have a lot. Got one. It's not really a good reason for this guy to be assigned to engraving. He's a designated engraver and he's a designated engraver. This guy's a mechanic, but all these guys are outside, so they're just kind of like stuck out there. Not really doing much. So in that sense, we're kind of just waiting on our boys to fix up this, um, this ramp so we can go outside again. Oh, it's constructed, right? No. It's still white. It should be blue because I made it out of cobalt tight. Hopefully, hopefully, they should get around to building that soonish. But at least this guy's being productive, you know, getting us some um, some goodies. Actually, why do we have all this bitmuse coal? Oh, it's lignite. I'm stupid as fuck. Oh wait, no, we can build uh, coke from lignite, right? Oh my crazy. Yes. Right now, cook, I think, is more important than making bars. So let's just make all of the cook that we can. And worry about that later.
Awesome. We got one ramp done, which... Unusable block upward? But why? But why? Hopefully they fix it in a second there. I'm a little bit confused. As to what is even going on. In terms of all of that shit. And all these dudes, they're just trapped on the surface. I mean, they got plenty of raw fish to eat, I guess. Heck, let's just build them. A fishery. And put it, like, over here. <laughs> And that is, once again, H. Let's just make that a food stockpile, I guess. So these should be waiting on masonry. No, they're waiting on any fishing. So our fishers should be going to do that. All these freaking surface guys stuck out here. And there were some miners out here, right? So they should be mining all this stuff. This guy's a mining, but why is he not mining? Oh no, it's Bill. Yeah, he's got mining. Does he have a does he not have a pickaxe? It would be very strange if he did not have a pickaxe. Doesn't look like it's a way for me to check. Asparagus. Yeah, they're just really not willing to do anything right now. They suspended the linkage.
might as well build like um, a carpenter's workshop and a mason's workshop for these poor unfortunate surface dwarves up until I hit a point where we can fix this whole debacle. See why? Why are these labeled as um, unusable? Why is that unusable? Because they've been using it this entire time. Oh, frick. Here's what we got. A usable ramp requires a ramp tile, check. Open space directly above the ramp, check. Adjacent solid tile on the same Z level, including diagonals. I'm not really sure what that means. Adjacent solid tile on the same. So we need, oh, so we need a wall behind the ramps. Okay. I'm fairly certain. Willing to bet. Let's make it out of Cobaltite, because I like Cobaltite. And I bet that'll work. More magnetite, let's go. You know, let's set this uh, these priorities down to four. There's quite a lot of chalk up here, but it's so far from my main base that I don't think I'm going to really use it for much. That is chalk, right? Yeah. So now that lone miner should be off mining. Yes. And this random peasant being haunted by a ghost. Speaking of, I think that uh, this is fairly far along.
let's see how we're making progress on the rain. We're not. Oh, it's for like classroom stuff. Not super useful to me right now. All these worthless dwarves. But I am so certain that there's a miner among them. Who's this guy? He's a peasant, but he's mining. Coal? How did oh, that's why he can't manage, is because he's all the way up here. He got trapped outside. Looks like I can't designate constructions to get uh, made faster. I think I'm going to wait on him to smooth out the floor under the door before I put the door there. Just in case of buggy interactions. That's Duolingo telling me to do Spanish. I've already done Spanish today, but wouldn't be bad if I did more. Oh, that sucks that the, the strange mood dwarf is outside so he can't claim a workshop. That is seriously no brainer. Wait, I don't know. I'm just going to put a craft dwarf workshop like right here. Oh, 
But I wonder why this dude isn't freaking doing his job. So our should our, our strange mood dwarf should go there straight away. Whoa, that instantly sped up our FPS by so much. Yeah, it's because the uh, the strange mood dwarf kept on trying to path into the uh, must have logs. Are there? Any trees other than those uh, fruit trees, which I kind of want to leave for a while. You okay, bro? I think there's going to be any trees on this side, though. Dang. Well, I guess I'll chop down the, the ginkgo tree. This is such a clusterfuck of a fort. Like, it's such a disaster, currently. Let's see if any of my surface dwarves have wood cutting. No, no, they don't. Uh, that's no way no. doing this constructing so I think I'll make some random dwarf I tell you what I think at least that is outside so that counts as an outside dwarf right now so temporarily we're gonna make this dwarf, Logan, into a construction only dwarf. And that should probably fix, like, that should make him go and make those walls, like, right now. Awesome. And that fixed the dwarfs being trapped outside of the map. Which is fantastic. We've begun a mysterious construction. Yes. I think I will actually leave, um... I'll leave all those, like, fishing workshops just where they are. I will remove, um these. And I'll remove that craft door sh shop as soon as that guy's done working. And we can go ahead and hook up our lever, finally. So if we get attacked, we just 
you want it and that's that I wonder what this guy's making it's kind of exciting to find out I think He laid one of our ghosts to rest. Fantastic. Toy boat. A wooden toy boat. Now let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's reread this. So I'll go ahead and reassign him to mining. But I think I'll leave him as on this just construction and stuff like that. I think you'll be fine if one of these peasants, instead of being, um, I'll tell you what, that's a little better, I think. Yes. And this peasant doesn't need a mechanic, that's fine too. Uh, this miller being a bone carver? It's alright. This presser. Right, we should have a legendary woodcrafter. Yeah. Let's take uh, gem cutting off of him. Put it on this guy. 4 fishermen seems like overkill, but I mean, it's fine. An extra farmer. It's fine. Two cooks. And we already have, so I think one dozen need cook is fine. But what I really want is um, this guy to be a designated uh, construction worker, and maybe just let's just flip on masonry. Why not masonry and construction? That'll be fine. Very nice to have a little bit more. Oh shoot! Uh, that's a lot of miasma. I guess my hauler is actually taking care of it right now. There's too much hauling and not enough haulers, it appears. Right, we never got our jobs ready because our manager was locked outside.
forgotten beast, giant hairy theropod. Er. We have no military, and oh, it's right there. Uh. I wonder how much of our fortress this thing's going to destroy. Well, our base has survived, and we actually lost, like, no citizens. We just lost a bunch of animals. Which is just fine. I think, uh, because we might run into... Frame rate issues. Let's go ahead and clean everything. Bro, we have so many crutches. Like, there's no need. <laughs> Finished forging 10 iron battle axes, which is great news for us because now we can actually set up a military. We do have a couple hammer users. Butt leg, Aster Tall. Oh no, we did lose a couple of dwarves. Oops. I thinking of doing? It was fairly relevant. I needed to make a military. Cool. Let's pick a couple weapon racks. And then... Military. Create squad. Metal armor. Barricaded odors, that's a weird name. Weapon will be Battle X. Oh you what that's so dumb. Fuck with my uniforms, let me remember. N uniforms, metal armor, deletes, drift weapon, metal axes. And I realized that. Material? Okay. Because it doesn't really matter what kind of shield slash buckler you have, as long as you have a shield slash buckler, you're good.
We should have a very high level axe work somewhere. No? I swear we did. 8x. Who's it? Administrator. Logan. Logan will no longer be a miner in that case. We lost a fisherman. That's not the end of the world. And now we can sort by squad. Okay. Sort by profession. Having a dedicated hauler is fantastic. So I don't think I'll be doing away with him. This random bone carving uh, presser. There we go. That's so convenient. This gem cutting potash maker. This random lie maker is a stone crafter. I think that's fine. And a, a legendary butcher, which I think is hilarious. We don't need you on cooking. In fact, we kind of don't... Now he's a hunter, so that'll mess with um, everything. Why do all these guys have, like, farming enabled? It's so annoying. Having, like, one full-time cook is fine, I think. Turn to milker. Oh, well, he's such a being a permanent farmer. Having extra farmers is always good. I don't think I actually need more than three. Two weapon smiths, which is fine. A dedicated stone detailer, that's fine. Dedicated cloth for year, that's fine. Five miners, that's good. That's... that's alright. We just have to wait on our... armor stands and or weapon racks to get done.
cat dress wound is cloth. This is some migrants, okay. Did we finish uh, leaking this up? It looks like we have. Which is awesome. Very, very awesome. So you should be able to cut any stone gem with that. Or any gem. Right. The input item needs to be a rough gem. Otherwise, uh, some strange things might happen. Check our stocks of bars. Go ahead and just make five iron helms. Actually, how many people are in our squad? Four or five? Four. Did I close the game? No, I did not. Thank God. And let's go ahead and make four male shirts. And a, just a bunch of shields. We don't really know how many we want. Um, Actually, now that I think about it, I don't want my weapon rack all the way up here in the corner. Or do I? A lot of miasma because of all of our dead people, our great deal of dead people. So now we should have full-time training for our military. Awesome. 
Alright, let's check out, um... Is that, that those two guys are Spirit Dwarfs? Uh, level 3 Spirit Dwarf, that's whatever. Whoa! Some of these guys have a lot of kills. Oh, that's because he's Hunters. Whoa! Hey, what's Stakud? He's a weaponsmith. I don't really want him to be doing any fighting of any kind. The Silvery Nuts? Come on. The Silvery Nuts is really what you want to call your fucking tavern? I'll turn these into like crap gold holes or something. Cause I kinda wanna just wanna get my uh my stone masons gold or whatever the heck it is out of the way. Masterpiece Iron Mail shirt, that's good. Right, we have a hall of farmers. That's what it was. The Misty Fin Shores. What a silly name.
all this smoothed out so that my little farm ring is a little bit prettier. Looking a little bit nicer. Oh, we have a major um, corpse problem. Problem with lots of corpses. Well, that guy lost a lot of teeth. Still having the other problems from that forgotten beast. Thankfully, uh, my dwarves just all slowly pummeled it to death. <laughs> or my dogs, I should say. My dwarves didn't really help at all. It was my dogs that kind of carried that entire situation. This is detail floor, dangerous terrain. I wonder why. Zuglar has become a milker, but why? Still making a little bit of progress on our tavern. Let's see if we have. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have some gold. Let's make just 12 gold statues. So that way we can have some solid decorations. Spell thing as much coal as we possibly can. But that's kind of, I think, the priority. Wait, we actually just got a migrant wave. Oopsie. Completely forgot. Okay, so let's check if any of these new migrants are extors. This one is. Also a farmer, which is fine. A shearer. We don't really need a shearer. Don't need you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Frickin' soap maker, dude.
I think that's good. We need three gold bars. Okay, we actually have... That's because we haven't smelted any gold. Right. Okay, might be time to make um, an extra area just for smelting. Actually, yeah. Let's make it out of Cobaltite, because y'all know I do love me some Cobaltite. Isn't this lined out? That's very strange. Really nice to have this all finished up. Nice and smoothed out. I gave him one. stocks on how many beds and stuff we have. We have like 46 beds, but we have something like 60 dwarves, so.
and that'll be good. And the really great thing about the capes is you never really have to worry about having enough cloth on hand because uh, your boys just take care of that for you. Like ASAP, Schrader, you know, no problem with the loom. Alright, we can still do one, two, one, two, one, two, oops. Right, we can do one, two, one, two, one, two, space, one, two. Let's make sure that, yes, we can. Okay. That'll keep that nice little pattern going. Dak, I'm trying to freaking look at my thing, see if it's 555. It is, and it gets in the way of that, so I don't want really to do that. So it's fine. Just in case this fortress ends up going for a really long time, which it probably won't, we'll have quite a lot of graveyards ready. But I think I'm going to wait for my, um, my taverns to be done before I start. Uh, I mean, like, all my tables and stuff. We we'll start carving more slabs when I definitely don't need any more slabs right now. Check and see if we have anything. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, they all have weapons, but not everyone has armor. Let's make uh, five male troops.
One, two, three, four, five uh, helmets. Ten greaves. like uh, 10 gauntlets and uh, 10 boots. shield so we have a little bit of extra Just mostly chilling right now. It's quite nice. Trying to get a little bit more of our um, industries going. Some random thief. Not a big deal. A second. White sands, let's go. Unless I decide against it, which I just did. Smith has been possessed.
He's been possessed by an unknown force. Alright, so he claimed a metalsmith forge. And immediately begins a construction. Fantastic. My hauler is slacking a little bit. Silver breastplate, that's pretty pog, I think. Still not quite there on the tables. But we're getting there. Awesome. The outpost liaison is here. Uh, I don't think you can assign stockpiles to locations, right? Okay, so that more or less confirms that my ramp is not sufficient for getting the wagons all the way down here. Yeah. I mostly just want seats. wants cloth bone earrings bone earrings and toys that's what they really want that seems decent enough I guess okay uh I think we can still trade, right? Because they bring, um... Rats. What do they bring? They have the guys that walk, instead of just having the wagons. I swear to god, I made a whole bunch of, um... Earrings, because I wanted earrings. Earthworm leather. How does that even work? 
they don't have like you know like proper skin. So like, how, how do you make fucking like earthworm flesh into leather? That doesn't make any sense to me. Very sussy. Oh, so I just have to bring my entire uh, finished goods thing. So finished. Okay. I just have to make sure to bring my finished goods uh, bins. Okay. So we're still suffering from miasma. Let's make some Forgotten Beast Bone Earrings. Enter Maximum Workshops 1. Yes, I think that's fine. What else did I need? I really needed something. Alright, they wanted bone earrings and some kind of toy. Right? Uh, toy. Wooden toy. It's like a hundred wooden toys. And it shouldn't take them long to get those um, boxes over here, because they're basically just right there. Uh, to think of... Oh, I know. I'll channel this out right here. That should let me get down here, right? And then... I'll build a floor over this. Take it out of Overlean, because Overlean looks cool as fuck. And that should let me have wagons coming. Maybe. Probably. I have no idea. We're gonna find out next autumn, that's for sure. Why are you just dead? Why'd you die? put everything at one because uh, I don't want to just flood all of my shops with the same job that should be good clear that let's engrave some memorial slabs Looks like we need to get back on uh, making iron for a little bit. Pretty sure we've made enough coal for a while. I have no idea which is which, so I'm just going to set them all. all right, I think magnetite, hematite, and laminite are all ores of iron, but I'm pretty stupid, so I might be wrong. And we have basically nothing to trade. That's good. It's fantastic, even, now that I think about it. Let's get... Uh, do they have... 
seeds. It's weird that they just have all this, like, random void. I've never seen that before. Lots of food. Now let's get some plump helmets. It's very hard to tell the colors apart. Very, very, very hard. But I'm trying my hardest, I think. Um. Wow, they have very little without the wagons. Uh, let's just get this box of leather for no reason. It's quite cheap, and I have quite very little, um, leather. Mm, what else do they have that's very cheap? This other box of leather. And do they accept that? No. Do you accept this? Hopefully, maybe next time, they can come in, right? Okay, let's see if any of these... I think these should probably all be unusable, yeah. But this one is usable. Mm, they... That can totally work, right? I don't, I don't have any idea. I need to take care of these corpses. I'm pretty sure I have a designated hauler, but he's got his hands full, like, picking up all the 10,000 teeth that we pulled out of that forgotten beast from earlier. Really glad I had sound sense off, because, boy howdy. Listening to the job cancellation spam would not be, um, would not be very PogChamp at all. That's where it is. Okay. Yep, one more table. Getting all of our engravings going. Drinking some water. Honestly, drinking water out of a metal container is so nice because you get like the flavor of the metal in with your water. It's probably poisonous as fuck, but like, dude, it tastes so good. Doors as well. How many carpenters do we have? I think that's a good question. Fifteen? Oh, we have one carpenter. All those guys in the military? I'm fine with having a bunch of, like, low-level stone detailers. Uh... It's nice to have a designated mechanic, because usually when I need mechanics, I need them, like, done, like, right then and there. So, I'm just gonna leave him on mechanics for sure. Um... This migration wave is all like stone detailers and their side hustle. Gem cutter is doing just fine. I think um 
I don't really need a dedicated stone crafter as much as I need a second carpenter. So that should be fine. See how we're doing on engraving slabs. We're doing quite well. Let's set the smoothing priority to a little bit higher. So we can get that done soon. Let's go ahead and Let's make twenty five more slabs. Oh, am I crazy? Here we go. These were all made out of diorite, so let's make them out of diorite. That will be the tradition of this fort, for making... We just make those big ol' all-time classic diorite tombstones. More migrants? Yes, okay. Let's give them a moment to kind of settle in. Oh, they're getting working on those. Huh. Kind of just like watching them work, honestly. It's very satisfying. For some reason, dwarves aren't really willing to do anything below priority 5. I'm not really quite sure why. So, like, generally the lowest a good priority is, is priority 4. And... Hmm. It's marginally tempting to get rid of these big refuse piles up here. You know, it's not like I'm using the refuse for anything. A bard is dehydrated. Sounds like the end of the world. Drop-off location inaccessible. I'm not so sure if I've seen that one before. 
I wonder if they like climbed up a tree and got themselves stuck or something. even good for Oh, there's just not really enough trees. Wow.
kind of hurts. That's pretty good. Uh, let's check on that recent migrant wave. Yeah, okay. So how many furnaces is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight furnace operators. Go ahead and disable all of these guys' uh, very bad, no good fight operations. Wood cutting, that's fine. What else he could do in his spare time? It's a woodcutter. Make him a farmer. Cause you know we're not woodcutting that often. Um. Actually, I can do this for him. Let's give him all the wood stuff. Having an extra mason would not be bad. And there we go. That's fine. I wonder if Dwarf Therapist has like a dark mode. Check and see if there's any valuable minerals that we could be uh, collecting. Certain malachite isn't good for anyone. But I'm going to collect it anyway. Actually, what is this? Mika. Looks like that's all a gypsum. See if there's anything 
temple that I've missed that I could be collecting. Cinnabar. Some gems. Quite sure why I dug this deep. Wow. Oof, oh boy. Uh, let's check in on our animals. We probably have some dogs that could become more dogs. Let's go ahead and get rid of, uh, oh, well, that's interesting. Named War Dogs. It's only because they have a couple of kills, I would guess, right? Cancels work order needs office? Bro, you got an office. Hmm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Now we can't really craft much of anything right now. Um. I'm pretty sure I've got a leather worker somewhere, right? Yes, but he has like 10 billion different jobs for some reason? Hmm, looks like this random guy, um, a designated leather worker. And that'll be fine. Brimstone? That sounds pretty badass. I think 
think we might just accidentally mine out this entire layer of uh, gypsum. What's this? Orthoclins? Oh, more gypsum. You kind of want some of this brimstone just for the uh, style points. Maybe make a couple of statues out of it. Cancels diorite slab. Means diorite. Um, let's go find some. It'll probably be really easy to find um, lots of gems or valuable metals quickly if we mine out that gypsum. Kaolinite. It's been a while since I've made anything out of kaolinite. Jets. Twilight. I'm just going to get a little bit of cobaltite, because I do really quite like cobaltites. That's not what I wanted to do. Three, one, two, three. Six by six. Did we get all that diorite from? And that should be plenty for a while, hopefully. Any of my emotes got approved yet? No. Only two of them. But they are very cool emotes. I think I could change the other one there. Oh, you know what? I don't actually have my chat box on screen. No, I do. Okay. It just kind of blends in. Sephirolite has not really a lot of anything useful in it. So 
It's really taken us a while to get some of these tasks done. I think we can stop making wooden toys due to our wood shortage. Manager is dehydrated? Honestly, where the frick is the manager, dude? Why are you digging? You need to do managing. Wow, he's a legendary miner. Maybe I should leave him as a miner, because wow. Where was it again that I found my sweet, sweet, um, diorites? Well, that's a lot of cobaltite. That should be good. I'm still stubbornly refusing to cut down those um, fruit trees. Kind of want to hang on to them. Very chillax and vibe. Ugh. 
might end it soon-ish. I know I said I was planning on streaming until, um, 10 on my schedule. But, like, right now, I'm not really sure if I want to keep on streaming. Oh, we need one more, uh, Iron Mail. My manager is starving. Uh... He should be able to get out, right? Doesn't look like it. So that means he's hitting a point where he can't escape, which is right here. Let's make it out of Hornblend, why not? Let's find out what color Hornblend is. Issues. Yep. Should be good. Should be, should be, should be good. Oh, wow, we. Just trying to get an extra stockpile going. 
extra refuse stockpile. Since we're having a bit of an issue with um, having way too many corpses. Gonna be a little bit to mop up. Awesome. What are these stones? What's it? Trying to see if I could do like a smelt all ores order, but that didn't seem to be a thing. We have a depressed dwarven child. That's no bueno. Wait, no. Uh, secret of me. Okay. Hopefully, he can begin his construction fairly soon.
a starving miner. An all-time classic. Uh, but why? We have a mayor now. That's really not good. Sweet. We have a parent. Silk quiver. Mm. Hey. Oh, so our once upon a time manager is no longer a manager. Let's see what um, thank you does. The Coot Cognish. Just an engraver. That makes him, uh, I think, perfect for the job of being a manager. Another uh, baby dwarf. See, we had that same thing happen in this um, this world, where we get a lot of babies like really fast, which is quite unusual, I think. So our Axe Dwarf squad is fully equipped, which is fantastic. Not something you see all that often, actually, in my games.
So one guy is told much better hammer dwarf than he will ever be in axe dwarf, or at least here quickly. Yeah, soon enough those guys will have some pretty high level axe skill, which will be great. That's a really high discipline, wow. Level 9 fighter? These two have no shield user and no armor user. Which is concerning. Level 2 crutch walker. Level 3 bowman? is strange, to say the least, I, I should say. Non-existent agility for a lot of these guys, well... Hmm. I should look up how to train agility. Looks like, um, you can train agility with engraving. Disable all labors for my um, military dwarves. Set them all to. S I'm pretty dumb. Did I ever mention that? Set them all to stone detailing. And then commit that. And then have it to whereabouts. Um, hold on. I have to change up my uniform a little bit. Are replace clothing. It's not the button I wanted to press. There we go. Er. Since I'm a little dumb, I'll just copy this order, paste it here. And that will be their set. Uh, schedule. So they'll do mostly training, 
but they'll occasionally do some engraving to train up their agility. And to that extent, I shall designate truly large amounts of things to be smoothed. Truly unnecessarily large amounts of things to be smoothed. Can I do this? Yes, I can. See, the goal here is not truly to um, smooth everything out, but more just to um, train up the agility of my um, dwarves. That's not good. It's really not good. And that's why this guy is starving. And 
and I will solve that probably next time. See, this does lead up. Oh, okay, so this is where we were probing. I need to remember that ramps break very easily. Because I keep forgetting that ramps break very easily. And I think that will have to be it for this stream. Not very exciting. Not a lot of things happen. But I am getting kind of back into streaming again after a bit of a break. See y'all soon. Bye.